Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Natasha Charmaine and if you are new here please be sure to subscribe and also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also leave a comment below and let us know what you think of our update and also be sure to share 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 this video. In today's video we are doing a nine month update to baby Milan. Time is flying really fast so please stay tuned for this video. So a lot has happened in the nine months that baby Milan has been with us. I am so happy and so proud of her progress in this world. Right now she is wearing size two camper. Uh, last time I think the update we did she was wearing a size one. So she has gotten bigger, she's wearing a size two. And she's doing two poopies a day as usual. Uh, her last nine month doctor appointment showed that she is 26 inches long now and she weighs 14 pounds. This is 14 pounds of all baby and right now she's chewing on her brush because she doesn't want to be bothered with us but it's okay. Um, also, just a quick note, we got it real pretty for you guys today. So right now she is wearing her pink bubblegum granimals leggings which look like jeans so let's say jeggings and uh, these are six months. She's a tiny baby. She's nine months old, but she's still wearing size three to six months. She can fit some six to nine months, but very few. And her sweater today, she is wearing an H&M sweater with a bunny on the front. And this is his little tail. Right, baby? Right, baby? Also, she's wearing her Milan bracelet. It has her name in carved, engraved. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I think she might be a little bit hungry. So yeah, she's wearing her Milan bracelet, which is 14 karat gold. And she's also wearing her little diamond earrings for you guys today. So we're going to go ahead and link that at the, in the description bar below so you can see where she got her items in case you are interested. As you know, we got our ears pierced at four months and she's been wearing gold balls. So now she's rocking the diamond earrings. It's pretty hard to keep her still these days <laughs> as she's now crawling and she's crawling all over the place. She's been crawling for a little bit now. But um, what she's actually started doing as of the other day is trying to stand on her own. Uh, she takes her time and she holds onto the coffee table and she shuffles her feet and she walks and goes around the table while holding on. So the other day I was able to get her to stand and she took three steps and I was so proud of her. So she's really on her way to learning to walk probably before she's one years old. She's also very inquisitive. She likes to get into a lot of trouble. She's always in places where she shouldn't be. So I guess she's at that stage where she wants to know what everything is. She's constantly grabbing at things. And we always have to keep an eye on her and monitor her every move. Because she is all over the place. Really hard to keep her still. Yes. So she's drinking three bottles a day instead of the six bottles and we're trying to give her more solid foods. She started using solid foods at six months and we're trying to get her into eating other stuff. Right now she's been doing sweet potatoes, pumpkin, squash, regular mashed potatoes. Uh, she doesn't like the broccoli too much. She eats sweet peas and she's still eating cereal and we take it and we mix it with peanut butter for flavor and she really likes that a lot. We use the whole grain cereal and we also use the oatmeal and regular rice. So she likes that pretty much. Yes. Milan still takes three naps a day. It looks like she's dwindling down to two. There are some days where she does take two naps and some days where she takes three. But her nighttime routine is really a little hectic because she goes to sleep a little late at night. And um, it's not always easy to get her down. So. We try different things to get her to sleep. She has a singing bear. We play that music. She has her mobile. We play the music on that. But she doesn't go down it easily at night. So it's always a challenge for sleep time. Her hair is growing pretty lengthy. Um, she's got a few inches here, as you can see, which is why I'm actually able to put it into a ponytail. 
and her hair is still super curly. Right now, we're still washing her hair with the Johnson's 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 head to toe shampoo that we use on her body and we use on her hair. And we're also using the Johnson's baby lotion. Um, I can show you a link in the description bar below what we're using. And we also. <laughs> <laughs> she's also been getting a few rashes. She has a rash on her neck and she's got another dry patch on her knee. And we use the, um, I forgot the name of the ointment, but I'll also link that down below on it on a regular basis to try to not get it to be so dry all the time. She also has a drool rash that she has on her face. You really can't see it, but at first it, it came out with the little bumps, and right now it's just really dry skin, so we try to keep the aquaphor on it as much as we can to keep the dryness away. <laughs> We're also starting to buy um, six months outfits for her. Like I said, she's growing really, she's still small and she's growing really slowly, but we're also trying to buy outfits for her. So as you can see, she's wearing her pants and she's wearing a sweater as opposed to just onesies all the time or the long PJs that she wears before she goes to bed. <laughs> she just won't keep still. <laughs> Oh, because of the pandemic, we've been home a lot. We're still home a lot. It's only every now and again that we're able to go out and that I take her out with me. Um, I did go to the dentist one time, and those were the first people that she was ever seeing. And it was just interesting to see her reaction with her and the nurse and the doctor. And she was actually quite good. I think she'll be okay around people as she start to get older. I don't think she'll be shy or timid or scared or anything because she hasn't shown that as of yet. But she's doing really good around people when we are around actual people. So there's our small little update regarding this nine-month baby uh, coming really soon. Baby Milan is going to be a year old, and I can't believe it. I really honestly can't believe that she'll be a year in a few months. Um, it has been a very scary time right now bringing a baby into the world and for those of you that are mothers that have babies that are under a year old you do understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about it is scary and um, <laughs> smartwatch you're okay Milan is also becoming really interactive. She's gotten a lot of new toys for the holidays for her first Christmas and so she spends time playing with her toys and getting familiar with what they are and what they aren't. For example, her smartwatch. Orange, green, purple. Yeah, this is one of the toys that she likes to play with. Um, I tend to put it on my wrist because it fits and if I'm wearing my own watch she likes to grab at it and tear it apart so I wear hers and she can grab at this one. Um, she's also got a cell phone which she plays with. I got her that one thinking that she would leave mine alone but it doesn't work. I think she can tell the difference so she doesn't play with it at all. She plays with mine mostly. Um, and she's also got some toys and teddy bears and blocks that she plays with from now and again. We like to switch them up so that she doesn't get too bored with playing with the same thing all of the time. She's a little quiet now. So baby Milan's been saying dada, which were her first words. I'm a little sad. It's not mama. But even though she's not saying mama yet, she says eme, 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 eme. I'm not sure if Emma means mama, but I'm going to take it as that. So anytime she says Emma, I'm assuming that she's talking about me. I'm Emma. You're okay. <laughs> so we're going to end this video. We hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Please be sure to subscribe and also like this video and also share it with all of your friends because baby Milan is super cute and we want everyone to get to know her and watch her as she grows up. We love you guys for watching and thank you so much. We'll see you in our next video. Bye!